Hi everyone, it's Dee. Today I would like to show you how I made these beautiful Christmas gift tags. Just with um, some embellishments I had bought recently, which is this one here from China. I bought that on eBay. I have like a whole packet here and the whole thing cost me about five dollars so that wasn't too bad. And with this gift tag I use these flower petals, 120 pieces from Cheapest Chips and they were only about three dollars. And I've used the foam glitter sheets and the backing is just some metallic cardboard. This one was the first piece that I did. I actually tried to um, glue on. I don't even know what you call these, like little rhin square rhinestones on a chain. Um, but they just kept popping off. So I ended up putting this tinsel around it. So if you want to learn how to make these beautiful gift tags, keep watching. Okay. Just before we begin, I've also pre-made um, the tags themselves ready to embellish and of course my favourite colour green and I'll show you from scratch what I did so I've just used this metallic cardboard you can use anything that you have and of course a sheet of this beautiful foam glitter comes off a little bit but that's fine so I bought those from Cheapest Chips and I bought the different um, colours of the cardboard now how much 60 cents from the news agency so first things first we will cut out the gift tag shape and I just um, printed some free printable shapes um, I went to allfreeprintable.com and just printed these out so I'll just cut one out roughly a little bit more and I'll cut the top of the tag flush with the line on the side and at the top with my double sided tape and stick that down like that. Then it's ready to roughly cut out. Pop that aside, isn't it a beautiful green? Lovely. So I'll just cut on the line. All 
I'm doing that, I just thought I'd better stick the glue gun in the socket so that it can warm up. Make sure there's enough glue in there. Okay. Do a little bit more on the top here. Where's my bin? There it is. It's so fun making all these Christmas decorations and things. So take the template out, off, pop that aside, and we'll move on to the backing. This is beautiful paper too, or cardboard. I use it again because it's still good. Put more tape on there and just stick that down. Like so. all that for other projects. I've been meaning to use up my foam glitter sheets for a while now so I finally figured out something to make with them. Now these gift tags you can use any time of the year really depending on how you embellish them. It doesn't have to be just for Christmas. So there we have it. You can pop that in the bin. Take the adhesive backing of the foam and just try and line these up as best you can. off anything that's hanging, overhanging, just check both sides. You'll be gluing down some tinsel along the edges so it's not that important to be perfect with this one either. Okay so now we'll get a hole punch and just punch the hole that the ribbon will go through. So now we're ready to embellish the gift tag. You can use either side. I always like to use the glitzy side myself. So last year I stocked up on this um, star tinsel. It's like a mini tinsel. And they were $3 from Cheapest Chips. I have about six different colours, seven, eight maybe. So just pull some length out from that and start at the bottom and just glue all the way around with the hot glue. is ready. Now I'm using the precision glue gun because the tinsel is quite fine. And just carefully without burning yourself. that down. I 
sort of like to pinch it either side. Oh, left a little bit here. So that's one side done. Let's let that dry a little bit more. I'm really enjoying all these Christmas projects. And I have quite a large supply of craft wear bits and pieces. So I really want to start using them all up. Let's push that down, wait a few seconds and just pinch. One more side to do and we're all done with the tinsel. Let's put an extra bit right at the end. And snip off the excess, push that down. So that's the edges of the tag embellished get rid of any fuzzies colours I want of that tinsel. I don't have blue. Let's see what colours they have in store this year. Okay, so now I want to embellish the front. Now, I can either I might use one of these again, I want them all a little bit different, so I can either use pink, no oh, I'll have that for something else, so I have these paper flowers that I bought from Cheapest Chips, and I've used in some of my journals, so I might I need to use those up, so I might do that, lovely Christmas colours. So I can either put two there or one, I think just the one looks good, like that. Okay, so I'm just going to get some super glue. Just glue a little dab it in the middle. So I don't want this coming off and the hot glue can sometimes be a little weak on certain surfaces, so just reinforcing that with a stronger glue and just place it wherever you think it looks good. And that's all there is to that one. Now we just need to put a bit of ribbon on there, and it's as easy as that, guys. It's really quite easy to make these just use your imagination and whatever you have around the house whatever embellishments you want to use so I have 
need to get more um, narrow ribbon actually. So I've got this burgundy one. I have a metallic pink silver, silvery colour. And I have this black and silver. I think I'll use a black and silver. I haven't used that yet. about uh, it was about 36 centimeters I think I'll do 37 just in case Give me a little bit more leeway you can make them as long as you want but that's what I've done and just fold it over Squash it in half to make it narrower and thread it from the front to the back. So then this loop here at the back, you just thread the two ends through and just carefully give it a tug. And that is that. And then just cut the ends at an angle if you like and you can always later on I'll pop a little bit of glue on the ends and just let it dry overnight just to stop them fraying. So now I have three. And I'll just give you some more ideas with The other three that I have that I have to embellish. Um, okay, so with the blue, the blue and silver, sort of very cool colours. I love snowmen, so I'm going to use these um, buttons that I bought from Cheapest Chips last year after earlier this year actually after the Christmas sales and they do have the I'll show you the little hook at the back I'm going to use a snowflake as well get my little tool here I don't know what that's called but I'm just going to pinch off the loop at the back oh and I just broke the snowman oh dear let's see how easy this is going to be okay so I can do it Okay, all is not lost. This just popped out. There's a little round thing that it just pops into the nose. There we go. It's not broken after all. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> I'll do the same with the Snowflake. And just figure out where I want to place them. Okay, how about I put the snowman down the bottom and the snowflake the top corner like that. I think that looked nice. Let's do the snowflake first. Oop. Right, 
just put a little dot at a couple of the ends of the flake and a big dot of hot glue in the middle. Just glue that down like that. top and bottom and a big dob of the hot glue just push that down and there's that one of the, the ribbon at an angle, like that. Okay, I've got two more to do. Now I think I'll do the orange and gold. And I would like a big Christmas tree on this one. This was originally five dollars and I got it for two dollars fifty. Actually I think I got it cheaper than that. I think it was 70%, 75% off. So. so I think I'm going to use oh, I want the tree because it's got a beautiful gold star at the top of that and it's going to suit the star tinsel. backing on that one. So a bit of super glue which is just a bit out. A little bit left. ribbon on this as well. One more to do. It's a, like a fuchsia colour. Beautiful. And I'll be using these beautiful pink paper flowers. I bought from the browsing. And these have little pearl centres. And that's it. So I'm just going to clean up and I'll come back and show you all of the tags sitting nicely together, okay? Three, four, five, six gift tags. I 
absolutely love them. There's the silver with the purple flowers and the pearl centres. So we'll look like little opals. This one here with the beautiful silk embellishment and a rhinestone centre. I love this fuchsia coloured tag with the pink flower and the pearl centre. Very classic Christmas colours with the deep red and green. And this is quite nice too. The orange and gold always looks nice together. With a lovely Christmas tree in the middle. And last but not least, the snowman with the Silver and blue and the snowflake. Isn't that gorgeous? So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching guys. Take care and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.